B778. Okay. Madam Speaker, Mr. Sunil Charanjeev Singh, Romwa, has been appointed as Director of Audit by the Public Service Commission, pursuant to Section 110 of the Constitution. The effective date of appointment is 1st August 2019. In regard to Part B of the question, Mr. Roumois reckons more than 34 years of service in the public service. As a matter of fact, he joined the service on 1st of July 1985 as trainee examiner of accounts at the then Government Audit Department and served in different positions as follows. One, examiner of accounts from 15th of June 1987 to 10th of December 1991. Two, junior auditor from 11th of December 1991 to 25th of October 1992. Three, as auditor from 26th of October 1992 to 4th of November 1992. And uh, senior auditor from 5th of November 1992 to 31st of August 1994. On 1st September 1994, he left the National Audit Office to join the Accountant General Department as Assistant Accountant General. He was appointed as Deputy Accountant General on 21st of December 1999. Mr. Romois held the post of Accountant General in an acting capacity from 8th of April 2014 to 1st of February 2015, and was subsequently appointed as Accountant General in a substantive capacity with effect from 2nd of February 2015. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, for the financial year end 30th of June 2019, the incumbent, that is the previous accountant general, has given his approval for every rupee that his office has disbursed. Now he will be called as director of audit to audit all sum that has been disbursed by government under his signature as accountant general. Is there not a clear case of conflict of interest for the present period? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, he is not the accounting officer of the ministry's concern. Therefore, he doesn't approve. He only carries out the disbursements that are made by the different ministries. Secondly, for the information of the honorable member, the financial statements for that financial year that is, July 2018 to July to June 2019, will be prepared and will be signed during the period of October to December 2019 by the now the one who is acting as Accountant General. Therefore, he has had nothing to do with uh, anything with regard to the financial statements for that fi uh, financial year. Yes, uh, Madam Speaker, not only he has been the Accountant General, but also he has been a board member of various funds for the government, like the Luto Fund, Prime Minister Cyclone Relief Fund, and Foreign Currency. As a board member, he doesn't prepare the account, but he takes decisions. Now, decision that has been taken by him as a director will be audited and signed by him. This is another case of conflict, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I'm surprised. You know, I remember, I think, I am told he's an, also an accountant. Well, this is what I'm told. You should know that as a board member, he has had nothing to do with the preparation of the financial statements of those uh, public bodies. Nothing to do at all. Until recently, it has been the case to promote 
the deputy uh, director of audit as director of audit. It has always been the case to promote automatically the uh, deputy directors. Why in this case, this year, the deputies, because there are various deputies, why it has not been done in-house and we had had to look for an accountant general and this was done in the past in order to prevent these cases of conflict. You of course, the Honourable Member is completely wrong. Completely wrong. This has not been the case. Not now, not even before. I will ask him to go and check, but I will provide him with information. Each time, it is the secretary to, cab to cabinet and head of civil service, who is the responsible officer, who makes recommendations to the PSC. He consults the prime minister, and then the PSC, in turn, takes a decision and consults the honorable leader of the position. This is how it has always been done. Let me remind the Honourable Member now. He joined the MMM later on, I think. But maybe he should know and maybe he should ask what has happened before also. In 2002, Dr. Rajan Jagannath was nominated as the director. Now, he was not a employed and he was not working at the audit office. He was the director of the MAB. And this is the same process that applied, where the secretary to cabinet then, head of civil service, after consultation with then the honorable, not, it was not Paul Béranger, but it was uh, the prime minister, and the recommendation was made to the PSC, and then the PSC uh, in fact, nominated Mr. Chagona. So, let me, let me say that the post of director of audit is not a promotional one. Never has been, and it is according to law. You have to check, and maybe you have to, probably you have to dig in further in order to, to, to see that you are completely wrong on this. Yes, B781. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, the National Development Unit has a, had awarded a contract for the construction of a drain work, drain network at Ambroisin and Cité Laval streets in Plain Vert on 19th of October 2018. With regard to part A of the question, the scope of works of the project consists of Construction of about 500 meters of new drains, provision of concrete covers and metal gratings over the drains, cleaning of the existing drains, resurfacing of the roads, and provision of handrail near the bridge. The roads and lanes concerned are Ambroisine Street, Cité Laval Street number one, Avis Lane, Road one, that is, which is adjacent to Bilal Mosque, and Road 2, which is opposite to Perrin Bay Street. With regard to parts B and C of the question, the contract was awarded to Square Deal Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited for an amount of 9,468,151 rupees and 83 cents, inclusive of VAT, under the framework agreement for drains of the NDU. Madam Speaker, regarding part D of the question, the initial completion date of the project was 31st of May 2019, and the revised completion date is 31st of August 2019. Delay has occurred in the implementation of the project due to the following. One, during site investigation, trial pits were undertaken to locate underground structures and buried services. It was found that along the narrow lanes, the bases of the existing boundary walls and houses and the presence of wastewater network 
did not allow any deep excavation, since same would have damaged the boundary walls and houses. The consultant had to review the design and change the scope of works to adapt to the existing underground structures and services. Two, following requests from the inhabitants, works had to be stopped during the month of Ramadan and Eid al -Fit, as the excavation works were being undertaken in the vicinity of a mosque. Three, Mauritius Telecom cables had to be relocated and several Mauritius Telecom manholes re reconstructed. Four, there was need to relocate some CWA pipes along Ambroisin Street. And five, at the request of the inhabitants, works have been stopped from 1st of August to 15th August 2019 due to a wedding ceremony in the project area and to, to Eid Ul Adha festival. Yes, uh, Brian. Madam Speaker, one of the problems with this contractor in question, namely Square Deal, is that they, uh, the contractor opens several sites in Portwis. And then what, we, what, what he do? He does, he abandons the site for under the site, and when the inhabitants go to look for the local MP or the municipal councillor, then they come back to the site. Can I, can I uh, ask the Honourable uh, Prime Minister to see to it that they don't open several sites around, uh, around the island or the capital, and that they finish one by one to move on? Thank you. Well, I don't know about the other sites the Honourable Member is referring to, but with regard to this one, Madam Speaker, I have said, I, from the information that I have, it doesn't look as if he is to be blamed. In this case, I'm talking, because the, the project had to be reviewed, and also, while carrying on with the project, they discovered that there were certain services with regard to CWA, Mauritius Telecom, uh, and so on, that had to be displaced. And I, I tried to find out why is it that it is taking some time. And in fact, I must say that uh, when I look at uh, the extent of the work, for example, with regard to CWA pipes, which is all along the Ambrosin uh, uh, main, the main road, and uh, therefore, this has to be, uh, I believe, this has to be relocated. And, and there, there has been uh, circumstances also where there, there, is, there, was a, there is, I think, or <laughs> was a wedding. So the, the inhabitants, I, and as I was saying, Madam Speaker, so, and then the two festivals also, because of then the period of Ramadan and Eid, and now Eid al-Adha. So, but I hope we are going to, I've requested the officers of the NDU to monitor closely and to, to see to it with uh, the contractor that they do proceed as from, I believe, as from the 15th, then they can, they can proceed rapidly.